Previously on Sailing Zatara. As soon as we got hauled out to check the results of our anti-fouling, we got news that New Zealand was soon to be on lockdown, and we had 48 hours to get back in the water, fuel up, stock up, and get the heck out of Dodge. I tell you a story about me and you Out on the water, surrounded by the blue They scream that only I'll be saved God, it's so freaking cold. It is cold. Marston Cove, which is right there. Yep, okay. And today we motor sail, sailed, motor sailed over to Great Barrier Island. So what I want to do over the next, since we're in four day, four week quarantine, every day or two move five or 10 miles mm -hmm. and just find nice anchorages and, and get around, go around the backside of Great Barrier Island. And then from there, that'd be a dropping off point to get down to Mercury Islands. Oh, okay. What's this? Hey. Then we work our way back up. No. Nope. I thought you were FaceTiming somebody. No. Nope. I don't have enough internet right now to FaceTime anybody to do anything. Tell me the fish you caught. I caught a fish <laughs> and a fish. Look at that. I caught a fish. Go follow Finn at Finn's Atar on Instagram. There you go. I'll put your tag there. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> sweet. All right, y'all watch out. Did you just catch it with the line? Yeah. Did you not have anything else? I just had the wood. No, the no. I had a hook on it. Watch out. Did you have a wooden? Uh, oh, watch out. A wooden pole? No, just that. Watch out. Okay. <laughs> that Keep thing is crazy. Out. I know. I'm filming. I know you are. These boys are night fishing. We're, we're getting some bait for tomorrow when we go snapper fishing. Yeah. Good morning. 
morning. Good morning. I was just talking to Brent and Marston Cove, and they're in complete lockdown. They have, uh, they're not allowing boats in or out, and that's all marinas now. Huh. So we got out just in the nick of time, so we wouldn't be locked down there. We'd rather be locked down out here and self-isolating oh. out here. Which oh, yeah. Great. More peaceful out here and yeah. just less stress. We can fish and swim and hang out. And What about uh, Rondo? I guess they're still stuck in the marina. Still, all of them are stuck in marinas now for four weeks. You think we'll be able to get fuel if we need to? Yeah. yeah we can get fuel. There'd be places to go get fuel. Yeah. Because you don't have to talk to anybody. <clears throat> right. Like I could, yeah. I could go to Gulf Harbor, pull up the fuel dock. Yeah, pay it pump. And then and then leave. No, that's a good idea. As you can notice, I've got all my bass fishing stuff in here <laughs> from Texas. But it had some weights and I'm having to upgrade it with all the big swivels and heavy duty stuff. So that I have my kit. My kit. Kit. I've got to have a kit. We were fishing last night to get some small fishes, not exactly sure what they're called. But we get those and then we go out, we hook those in the nose, and then we drag them behind the boat, and those attract big old groupers. Oh, cool. So that's what we're going to do. Yeah. Oh, that's your fish? I, I, I tried putting them in last night, but it was freaking hard. I'll get two. Okay, that's good. All right, two or three fish. live ones. I'm going fishing. All right, we got a fish. Ain't very big. Yeah, what kind of fish is that? Cool. I know, I We're gotta put laundry out. Okay. We'll wait for you. We're still doing school. Uh, even though the world's on lockdown. Everybody's still doing school. Oh, I was uh, editing video, but let's just shut that real quick. So, no one sees what's so nobody sees what I'm doing. It's a secret. Uh, it's a secret. Uh, uh. Alright, beautiful. Let's do school. School. Oh, she's got a sneeze. Get it, get it, get it. Bless me. Bless me. It's <laughs> okay. A lot of people ask me where I get my books. This I found at a book fair, a homeschool book fair, and then I um, ordered another one on Amazon so I could have two. And then I took them to FedEx Kinkos and had them spiral bound them because I like spiral bound books. They're so much easier to work in and lay flat. I don't like coil bound and I don't like just regular textbooks. You should make food. So, yeah. I love finding fun workbooks and textbooks like this, Surfing the Net Science. And I find them just at random places and book fairs. One of my favorite places to shop is Half Price Books. We mainly use Switched on Schoolhouse curriculum by Alpha Omega. I'll put the link in the description below if you want to check it out. It's a PC-based program that doesn't require internet. They'll mail you jump drives with the classes on them. So it works really good for those of us who don't often have internet access. You can buy one class at a time or an entire specific grade package. And they also have a ton of one semester electives. I like it because it doesn't require a lot of me in terms of teaching or grading. And it's fully customizable, meaning I can move around the lessons or completely skip something that we don't like. So Jack is not doing school anymore. He is graduated. He's officially a graduate. And yet I still play Minecraft. And he's playing Minecraft. It's good though. It's good. It kills time, so, especially in quarantine. Yeah, really. What are you going to do after school? What are you going to do after high school? What's your big plans? Sail. Ah. Travel. Excellent. Minecraft. <laughs> Maybe teach scuba diving. Hey, some some kids my age are out there going to college, getting married. I'm uh I'm sitting in my dad's boat playing Minecraft. Good stuff. You can stay on the boat as long as you want. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Mommy loves you. You made me a PB and J. Okay, I'll bring you some goldfish. Hey, <laughs> give me a Capri Sun. <laughs> <and gummy. laughs> some gummies. Some gummies.
There we go. Now we're having dinner. Look, there's Anna. Anna's at the table. Anna, say hi to the world. Hi, world. Yeah, it's my baby girl. We're having burgers and fries. How are you doing, Anna? There's quite a delay because we have no internet. Where's my kitty? <laughs> the delay. There's a delay. <laughs> hey, did you hear about the hook in the mouth? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yes, I heard about it. I don't want to hear it again. <laughs> the cat got a hook in its mouth and it vomited everywhere on the carpet. Like no. Because Kate yanked the hook because her leg was wrapped on. He yank already the hook. had the hook in his mouth and then he jumped back and pulled the line tight across Kate's foot. Oh. I yanked it though because my leg was okay, in the Okay, so Zuko was in pain. But it had fish on it. You guys were yeah, fishing he and he was just trying to get some fish. He wanted the fish and the meat. And he's an idiot. Oh, that was nasty. <laughs> yeah. Wait, did you stick your hand all the way back? It took the, it took the uh, numerous pliers. Hey, we love you, Anna. Love you, Anna. You know the best part is we use rusted. Oh, I just pliers want you to see me. Out of his mouth. Hey, when it, Anna, if they lift the bands hey, up. Where's Jack? Give me to Jack. I'm her favorite. Here's Jack. I'm her favorite. Something looked different. Why are the you camera? looking at? Anna? Yeah, switch it. Stop. <laughs> switch it so you can see Anna. I don't want to see you, goofball. Hey, Stop. it's me. I look so good. There we go. I got a haircut. I trimmed it on our sale. Ugh. We miss you here. Uh, no, we don't. <laughs> we don't miss <laughs> anybody. Don't miss All right, I love you, Anna. I'm gonna. Love you. Okay. I'm gonna hang out now. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Oh, look at that. Another evening of fishing. Oh, I see. Yeah. He got one already. <laughs> Let's not hook the cat again. Okay, okay, okay. What are you using? The hamburger meat? No. no we're we're not even using anything. Oh. Here, watch. <laughs> so you let it down a little bit. Oh, I need to put, how do I get them off? Oh, I got one. Oh, I got there you one go. Here. So you pull it up, Finn. Pull it up. Okay. And then you got to grab the line and hold it over the bucket in case he flops off. PHD flopster. Yeah. And then you got to grab it. And you got to squeeze it as hard as you can. There's still a hook. You got to wait for the cat. Flop. Yeah, grab him as hard as you can. Can't do that. As hard as you can. Because they'll stop him from flopping around and get the hook out and check him in. <laughs> oh, so it's but I like it. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. It's better to do it over here. There we go. There you go. I don't know. I was just gonna come out here and film y'all working, and Dad's on a on a roll. A high road to China. What's uh? What are y'all doing here? Is the question. We found your GoPro mount. You found what? A GoPro mount. Oh, that probably came yeah. off of the uh, wakeboard. Right there. there you go. Can you turn that to LED light off? Here, here, here. Come on, turn up. Ben, move that, or Jack, move that cord right there. I got this thing behind me. Yeah. Can I put this away? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's gonna go in this Get company water. now. They're going to that boat. Cool. Oh, the... Is that the new sailboat that just came in? Mm-hmm. I didn't know they just came in. Yeah, that's what uh, your friend on... Archer said. Archer Man, said that some boats could you get my glasses right there on the counter, please? That needs to be power washed off one side or the other. Um, I'll do it on this side because it's right there. Uh, what else do you want, Dad? Yep. Gosh dang it. Ah, wrong. My shoes. Yep, yeah, right there. <laughs> <laughs> shoe fell off. Shoe. I know, I just wanted to chuck Wait, what? He had to jump in and get his shoe. It fell off. We gotta get water out of it. face is red. Was that cold? Oof. No, it actually 
good. Not too bad? Not too bad. <laughs> you're in your swimsuit. Okay, okay. Yeah. The Marine Police visited all boats on Great Barrier Island today, making sure we knew the limited services and resources here on the island, and to let us know that if we needed to reprovision heavily, we could go back to the mainland. However, if we left the island for rationing or whatever, we wouldn't be able to return since a return to this anchorage wouldn't be considered essential. These guys were very, very friendly and just making the rounds, sharing safety information to all the yachties. Hello guys, I want to thank you for watching the show and we're going to jump right into the Q&A but first I want to give a shout out to a young man named Mr. Stephen Morrison Jr. I want to thank you for watching our show, thank your family for watching our show and we appreciate all you do young man. With that being said, let's move on to the first question. The, the first question out of the box comes from Uflanelerkulelubi. Uflanelerkulelubi. I'm trying to get it right, guys. What do you think about solar catamarans? Would you trust an electric boat and sell around the world? Well, I tell you, if they come out with a solar boat, and we've looked at several of them, we've been approached by several of those companies, I would like to have a solar boat. I would, I would love to have electric engines on this boat and go all solar. That would be the dream to have. And they are getting the technology there where we can do that one day. So I am looking forward to that. And if somebody ever steps up and says, hey, we want to do a solar boat for you, I'll be all about that because I think a solar boat and uh, you know not having diesel engines and just having a couple of diesel generators on board to back the solar up and the batteries up is a great idea. So that's a great question and I hope that answers that. What kind of cell service provider do you guys use while out sailing? Well, most of the time we use Google Fi. Google Fi seems to work great for us anywhere we go. Most of the places it gets us pretty decent uh, internet and we can get downloads and uploads through the Google Fi, and it's a pretty cost-effective uh, uh, program they have at Google Fi, so check them out if you're selling. It's not very good for being in America, but it's great for being out here on the hook. We use local SIM cards as well. If we're in a place that has great uh, local SIM card service, you know, like in Fiji, you can buy like 300 gigs for 100 bucks or 50 bucks of data, and so you slap that in your phone, and it works really well. So, local SIM cards and Google Fi are our main staples out here on the water. Thank you, Louise, for asking the question. Next question is from Mr. Sam Knowles. Hi, Keith. My question is How fast can the engine go on your boat? Please put in the next QA. Okay, Sam. I have 210 horsepower Volvo engines. They're the first generation of the D3110IA engines. I know that's a lot of tech garble. But uh, those engines, when they're at about 1,800, 1,700 RPM, both of them running, I can make about eight or nine knots with no sails up. If I go up to, and they'll max out about 2,400 RPM with the props that are on here, 2,500 RPM. And at that, th this boat will go about 10, 11 knots, but it's burning a lot of diesel and the engines get pretty warm doing that. So, uh, but on the average, we can average eight, nine, 10 knots uh, uh, at 1,500 to 2,000 RPM pretty easily. So. Thanks for this question, Sam. Next question is from Mr. Jacob Noonan. And Jacob says, uh, I have two questions. That's twice the price. Make sure you buy two tickets, Jacob. How are you dealing with the coronavirus? Will you be able to sell this year? Is there one place that you have sailed to that you love the most? Well, I tell you, the coronavirus has got us hampered down for sure. But that's a serious deal. And it's, it's hurting a lot of people. And so we're being very careful and conscious. I don't want to get it. I don't want my kids or wife to get it. Uh, there's a few people that I would like to have to get it. We're, we're trying to figure out a way to get it sent over to them. No, uh, uh, the coronavirus is, is pretty serious still. I don't know when it's going to go away. I sure hope we get back to sailing. As soon as some of the islands open up, we're heading there regardless because we want to be in warmer weather. We don't want to spend a winter down here in New Zealand. So it is, it, is, uh, it is affecting us. But we are very, very fortunate and we're very thankful that we're in the situation we're in and we're in the country we're in right now because they're taking care of business down here in New Zealand. 
the cases are, are small. It hasn't just mushroomed out of effect. I think they're doing a good job in quarantine and, and uh, the people down here take it very seriously. And uh, sometimes to the degree, I think maybe too seriously, but you can't ever be too, too say too conscientious when it comes to something like this. So my hat's off to the, the Kiwis down here and how they're handling this. We, uh, once again though, we're not slated to be leaving here till after April 1st anyway, which was yesterday because we are uh, cyclone season. So our insurance won't cover us up in, up in the tropics right now anyway, due to cyclones. So we, April 1st, we, we can sail up there, but we're still under uh, four week lockdown. All the islands are close to us right now. So we're just hanging out, enjoying the beautiful New Zealand fall weather and uh, enjoying the, the isolation and having time with our family out here. The next question is, was, was, is there any place that you have sailed to that you love the most? Well, I've, I've answered this question many times, but I'll answer it again. The Bahamas, and especially the far out Bahamas and uh, the, the Tonga, Tonga, the Hapai group in Tonga is, is two of my favorite places in the world so far that we've been to. I, I could spend a lot of time there in those two places and uh, I look forward to getting back there. So thanks for watching, Jacob. We appreciate the question. Next question is, uh, how do you get the kids to go out in the boat? We went to the Bahamas and all of mine did was complain about no internet. <laughs> what keeps you from throwing them overboard? Well, that is a great question, Mr. Anonymous. And uh, the kids wanted to go out in the boat. My kids love the water. They like swimming. They like being on the water. They like water sports. Now, when we first went out sailing, the first 90 days was a little tough because it was isolated. They didn't have internet and, and all of the things that most kids have nowadays. But after a time, when I said, this is what we're going to do. And, and once again, we're not kid-centric family. I'm the boss. Me and Renee are the boss. We, we're, we're the parents and we decide what our children are going to do and then they have to either get their attitude straight or be sorry and stay in their room the rest of the time. But we don't, our kids do not dictate our lives to us. We, we go when we want to go and our kids follow along and then when they're 18 they can go do what they want to do. And our kids adjusted really well and, and there was a time where they adjusted even better and they love the life out here now and, and Anna didn't like the life so much out here. She loved being with us but she didn't like so much sailing because there wasn't a lot of kids her age and she wanted to get her life started so that's where we're at and uh, I appreciate the question. Next question is from uh, Mr. Kale Chip. Do you consult? And 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 they're asking do I consult on helping people buy boats and and I'm open to that. I uh, I am open to that you know I, I, I don't want to get it back into chasing money and doing all those kind of things but if the right thing came along I might you know if somebody wanted me to fly out somewhere or, you know pay for me to help them buy a boat I, I might be interested in doing something like that if it was the right deal um, we sure want to help as many people as we can but that's a lot of work and it takes it takes me takes me away from the boat and my family and so uh, it'd have to be the right kind of situation for me to, to jump into that thank you Kel for the for the question once again guys thanks for watching and you know what we always look forward to seeing you guys out there on the water Tune in next time as we share how we handle everyday chores like dumping trash and getting groceries.